And now, here she is, Josie Ann. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Welcome to my show, Dr. Feng Liang. Danny, welcome, welcome. Well, to thank you, This thank is you. wonderful to have you here. Thank um, you, Joanna. Yes, it's absolutely wonderful. Thank you for inviting me to mm -hmm. here. Yes, mm -hmm. this is such a pleasure, such a novelty for all of us to have you here. So it's so, um, I would say, educative for all of us. And to start with the thing that you're doing is acupuncture and other things as well, actually. You're doing a lot of things. It's Chinese medicine has been successfully practiced for over 5,000 years. So we start with that. So give us your feedback about that, please. Yes. <laughs> Chinese medicine started practice when Chinese civilization started. That's why we stretch back 5,000 years. But the writing history about the Chinese medicine will stretch back over 2,000 years. So the practice will be longer than the medical uh, like uh, writing history. So it, That's um, quite something. It's the <laughs> world oldest continually practiced professional medicine. Right, right. So it was approved is uh, effective and uh, very safe. Very safe, yes. Mm -hmm. So, uh, Danny? Yeah, we're getting at the acupuncture. I mean, uh, uh, how does acupuncture really work, doctor? Okay, acupuncture is a therapy that uh, um, that uh, originated, originated and developed in China, which consists of apply a fine needle uh, on the body, on the specific point or apply the heat, apply the heat through this moxa mux, we call it moxibustion. So in China, we have a two word. Acupuncture means needle. Uh -huh. Moxibustion means use moxa to apply the heat. This we call that zhen jiu. Yeah. Yeah. You, right, yeah, you yourself, you studied at Beijing University of Chinese Medicine. So you studied over there before even continuous study over here, um, your medicine uh, in Western medicine. So you combined the, uh, the Chinese medicine and the uh, American type of medicine, uh, the, uh, you know. Yes, i like to introduce myself a little bit. I am a medical doctor from China. And uh, I'm also New York State licensed acupuncturist and a board certified Chinese herbologist. I was trained by uh, uh, I was trained by West medicine, also Chinese medicine, when I studied in the medical school in Beijing TCM College, traditional mm -hmm. Chinese medicine college. And after graduate, I work as a physician, as an as an internist in the hospital, specialized uh, in cardiovascular disease. Oh, wow. I used to work in the CCU, inpatient department, and the emergency room. So I have very strong West medicine background, but my I heart <laughs> is still wanted to practice Chinese medicine. That's why after I came to the U uh, the U.S. in 1990, and uh, I waited about four years until New York State. I uh, have a license system for the young doctor that I practiced about five years. And um, at that time, they required 10 years working experience. But later on, they opened because uh, in the US have um, a lot of acupuncture institute or college. And those students graduate, they don't have any chance to go to a hospital to practice. So they re-regulated and um, to allow us to pass the border test, have a have a license. You have a great so, advantage. Yeah, yes, you, you did everything. <laughs> so I opened my own clinic, my own clinic in Midtown Manhattan on Fifth Avenue, since the early 1995 up to now, continually Wonderful. practice. Wonderful. We we talk yeah. more about two of you is about the way you are, your web, and everything. Yeah. This is wonderful. Everybody should know about this. This is sensational. Yeah. Um, the thing now, what what can acupuncture uh, actually? What does that treat? Actually, the, the acupuncture uh, the best known is for treat a painful condition, like what you have. Yeah, and you're going to give me some, some arthritis oh, good. or degenerative uh, <laughs> de degener degenerative disease cause the pain, like a neck pain, back pain. That's exactly what pain. I have. Yeah. Yeah, carpal tunnel. Yeah. And um, you know, and uh, tennis elbow, knee pain like sport injury or car accident injury. Mm -hmm. And also acupuncture is good for the rehab from the stroke. That's the main things originally did it in China. Mm -hmm. when, when I was I a student, know you know, in the hospital, we only deal with a stroke patient. 
and um, or pain pain, but actually acupuncture I is widely they used. Do that. Yes. Yeah, and uh, it's very good for gastrointestinal disorder like nausea, uh, irritable syndrome, and, uh, constipation, diarrhea, and also gynecology disorder like a woman have a PMS, irregular uh, menstruation, uh, infertility. Now it's very popular use oh. acupuncture to increase the IVF uh, successful rate and uh, menopause and also good for cardiovascular disease. It, this is what I do in my clinic. He had, he had heart surgery yeah, several years we ago. Have, so. um, like we can help the uh, stress re related but eventually involve the heart condition is like a hi hypertension. Some people have mm -hmm. a palpitation and yeah, high yeah, cholesterol. Yeah, it's, a, uh, mm -hmm. it's a irregular heartbeat. I had the heart taken out of my body and they kept me alive on machines and because mm -hmm. uh, I was all closed up all over the whole place on, on both I will sides. see your case is the best treatment is to combine both medicines good part it, uh, West medicine can rescue you mm -hmm. like people have a, like a bypass surgery yeah. or angiography you know uh, uh, bypass to save the life yeah, but yeah. the Chinese medicine is like we will treat you before you have too high uh, 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 artery blockage or uh, heart attack. It's yeah, preventative. But let me it's tell you exactly what happened. My mm -hmm. cholesterol went up to uh, about 360, and Ooh, I was a prime high. candidate for uh, for a heart mm -hmm. attack. And then I started taking niacin, and uh, and it dropped down, but then it didn't help. Then I had a, a massive heart attack and I was closed up 98% on both sides. So they couldn't do an angioplasty, they couldn't do anything. Uh, I had, the doctor told me I had only two weeks to, to live. I couldn't walk, I couldn't breathe, I couldn't do anything. Mm -hmm. I couldn't even find a doctor. I was lucky to find a doctor. Mm -hmm. And I went in on a Thursday night and the, the guy was booked up for two months and I was lucky to get him. He was the teacher doctor and he says, come in Saturday morning at four o'clock in the morning and I'll operate on you. And I got there at 4 o'clock in the morning, and they operated me at 4 o'clock in the morning. The guy saved my life. See, that's and the good part of the West medicine. They yeah. can save your life. Yeah. But what I mean is, before you go to that level, you should have some treatment. When you have a high cholesterol, yeah. usually people will, doctor will give the medicine to lower the cholesterol. But the medicine have a major side effects is to the liver. It will affect liver. Some patient cannot continue. Well, I have at this point, yeah. we have to open mind. We have to, there is some other treatment like Chinese herb and acupuncture. Mm -hmm. It can enhance the organs function and then to get rid of those cholesterol from your body, not we in a, also effect. to stop the creation of the uh, yeah. cholesterol. Okay, in Chinese medicine, high cholesterol is it, is a part of mucus syndrome. We call the candida. You yeah. know, candida um, is in Chinese medicine we call the mucus. Mucus can flow everywhere in our body. Mm -hmm. If mucus in our digestive system, we call that. A, Candida. If mucus flow to the brain, in my clinic you can see a lot of people have wow. a dizziness. They check everything, CAT scan, MRI to the brain, they cannot find anything. But, but those are type of a dizziness, people can suffer a lot. They cannot work, they cannot wow. have a good quality life. And then at this point, people should open mind to Chinese medicine. Mm. Okay, I prefer them exam first to rule out the severe yes. condition or tumor in the brain. If not, come to us. I have a secret remedy can treat the dizziness. Yeah. It won't take so long, the patient will see the result. Yeah, but you have to get and it in the, in, in and the beginning. You and can't for get the, the cholesterol is mucus go to blood vessel, make the blood sick. Mm -hmm. You know, that's the condition. So our job is not only lower the cholesterol and also stop our body produce mucus. That's and right. that's the part is, is for healing. Chinese medicine for any condition, even arthritis, is for healing. Mm -hmm. Arthritis, for example, is inflammation of the joint. That's right. Yes. Okay. So, what kind of reason cause inflammation? I'm not mean people have a car accident or injury. It's our body itself produce toxins. Right. Those toxins, for example, like I mentioned, mucus or dampness, is the same family. They can deposit in the joint. But why you have a dampness or mucus deposit in the joint? Why not me? Why you? Mm -hmm. It's because my organ can function better. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay, so I can eliminate it out those toxins right. regularly because our body can heal itself. But for some case, for some patients, they lost that uh, healing capability. Those organ functions start to decline, or you do something wrong, affect organ function. So we accumulate, we accumulate 
toxin. So when the toxin deposited in the joint and then cause blockage the function and then ca causes the pain. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So also even treat arthritis, sometimes like rheumatoid arthritis, that's another kind of uh, uh, you know disease, Bad, yes. autoimmune disease. Mm -hmm. So you have to treat the whole body. It's, Chinese medicine is not a, like you have headache, just put a few needles on the head. Not necessary. I may put a needle on your feet mm -hmm. to draw the energy down so your headache can be disappear. Yeah. So this is a holistic. You have to treat the whole body. The whole body is diagnosed. It's all the meridians. Yeah. All right, yeah. doctor, let me ask you a question, doctor. Okay, mm -hmm. let's say, uh, going back, I was closed up on both sides, 98% or 95%, mm -hmm. all right, and um, the doctor says, take niacin. Uh, now, there's flush niacin, non-flush niacin. Uh, I took the strongest niacin I possibly could find, uh, and it, it dropped my cholesterol level, i say about 75 points, but it didn't prevent me from getting a massive heart attack. What would you have done in a situation like that as far as prescribing uh, Chinese uh, medicine versus uh, the, uh, the niacin uh, that was told that I should take uh, you know, uh, to yes. lower the cholesterol. Yes, do not uh, stop niacin. Whatever you have, those life-saving medicine, you should continue to take. But those medicine, if you take a long term, is uh, going to weaken your body. Mm -hmm. uh, I tell you one example. We have a friend living in, um, uh, not in the U.S., they, you know, they, they moved to a Dominic, a Dominic Republican, mm -hmm. and this person also have a similar condition, have a three times a heart attack. Every time come back to U.S., be rescued. And doctor gave him a lot of medicine. He take at, at least eight of them. And when I visit Dominican Republic, and he in front of me, he he's fainting. Mm. So I rescue him. I don't have a needle. I use my finger because there's some point we can rescue the patient. He wake up and I put him on the bed and I. I check his tongue, his eye, and feel his pulse, and then tell him, you are in a very weak condition. He, he said, I take whatever is the possible best medicine from the US. I say, yes, those things can save your life, but they also weaken your body. Mm -hmm. So, and I tell mm -hmm. him, when I come back to US, I will ship the herb to you to strengthen your constitution. Mm -hmm. He's supposed to run away to his top floor, and he has a big mention there, and, but he cannot do it because the heart makes him fatigue, weak. Mm -hmm. So I ship the herb to Dominican Republican, and I was told one month later, he can go to do the renovation, mm -hmm. to manage other people do the renovation. And, uh, he and the feels herbs help them tremendously. Yeah. Yeah. So your case is the same thing. You need to continue to take niacin, but meanwhile to do some Chinese medicine treatment to strengthen your constitution. You mm -hmm. need a strong constitution mm -hmm. to, to be healed and to be function. You mm -hmm. know, and meanwhile, Chinese medicine will have different way to help your heart. Yeah, yeah. Well, you know, uh, people at mm -hmm. my age, I'm a senior. So there's no confusion, yeah. basically. Yeah. Only do <laughs> you, Chinese medicine and the Western medicine should work hand by hand. Yeah. And uh, that's a good, good combination. Yeah, we have to pick up the best part of both medicine yes. to use for us. Yes, yes. Right? It's, it's so a good, yeah. That's a smart yeah. way. And with mm -hmm. American, I mean, with, with the modern medication, it's habit forming. Your body gets used to it. And also, you clog the, 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 the you said the liver, also the kidneys as well. Yes. Right? Yeah. The kidney mm -hmm. gets, it's very, very important. We mm -hmm. only have two and we need them desperately. <laughs> yeah. It's thing. yeah. Chinese medicine, medicine can combine with medicine, Western medicine to be used for patients. Mm -hmm. The mm -hmm. best example is for cancer treatment. Yeah. That's you know, another cancer. Big thing. It's cancer. Of cancer today. <laughs> yes. You, you must do, you know, the West medicine because that's the most powerful treatment. I always tell my patient, you don't play with the cancer. No. If you need a chemotherapy, if you are not old enough, because too old pa patients, they will not, they will not do it for them because yeah. the, their body cannot take it. Yeah. You know, if you are lucky, you can do the radiation, you can do the, you know, chemotherapy, go ahead, do but they, they create a lot of a side effect. Okay. You know, it will kill the bone marrow, yeah. it, will, yes. it damage yeah. bone marrow, damage That's the right. kidney, damage the liver, and the common uh, side effect is, is uh, like a, a stomach burning sensation, lost uh, appetite, people cannot eat, and feel terrible nausea, some people constantly vomiting, yes. or constipation, diarrhea, and um, sometimes a patient particularly feel extremely fatigued. They we cannot go to work. Yeah. Okay. You know, and then question. why the blood can uh, the the uh, the blood cells can can be low at that moment? Western medicine will be panic because you cannot give them yeah. treatment anymore. But those things actually can be easily be dealt 
treated by Chinese medicine, by acupuncture and the Chinese herbs. That's interesting. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. I, had, mm -hmm. I had cancer, I had prostate mm -hmm. cancer. Mm -hmm. And, uh, and uh, I, I caught it real early, because uh, my PSA went up to about six and a half, mm -hmm. and uh, that's the time when I had to make a decision what to do. And I decided to have a radical. I told them to cut me open and take the whole thing out, all the Let prostate me ask out. You, Danny, I didn't want it in my body at all. Do you have a cancer at that time? Even though your PSS go up to six, do you have a cancer or not? Yes, because when they cut me open, the cancer was like a mushroom. I see. It was you like a mushroom. A it was sticking okay. up. And my, uh, my cardiologist was in the OR watching the other doctor cut me open to take the prostate out, and he saw it, and he told me, he said, he said the cancer was just like a mushroom. You could have flicked it right off with your finger. You are so lucky to be diagnosed early. To yeah, early I, I caught it very Because a lot of people, early. you know, they, you know, they, yeah. you know, they were diagnosed later. This, the, this is just like a, some kind of breast cancer for men. Yeah. It can take away yeah. the but yes. I didn't have people's lives. So have to have you are lucky. Any, yeah. Thank you. I didn't have to have any radiation. Mm -hmm. I had no chemo, no radiation, no nothing, and I was completely clean because I caught it right, right at that moment. What would you have recommended? Uh, I mean, uh, uh, for me to do uh, if uh, if I was in the process of deciding whether to have a radical or, or whether to have the seed put in, which I didn't want, what would you have recommended at that time? I think for you, you know, the best treatment to remove, to just remove. a surgical remove for yeah. the safety. Yes, yes. Yeah. Okay, you don't want, uh, you know, and, and, and after that, even though you are pronounced cancer free, but you, I think everybody include me, you know, we have to do some preventative treatment because yeah. we all have a gene, cancer gene in and ourselves. Yeah, it's still in our body. It's still in our body. Particularly people who already have cancer, you know, at least there's a 10 person or 5 person that still remained in our body. If not in the same tissue like yours is removed, but it could, could be other parts. So we have to do something to keep our body healthy, alkaline and uh, healthy and a better constitution, good immunity and to prevent the cancer. So mm -hmm. for you, I think the prevention, prevent the cancer. Uh, I haven't diagnosed you yet, but you have to come to a uh, prof uh, provider's office. We have to sit down. We have to do the tongue diagnose, and we have to do the pulse diagnose, you know, and then be able to tell you if you have a toxin in your body mm -hmm. or not. If you have toxin, the first thing is to have to remove toxin. And, and how would you go about doing that? You have to go through Remove the toxins. Eight. How would you go about doing that? Oh. Yeah, do the acupuncture and the Chinese herb. Okay. That's based on the um, uh, individual pattern diagnose mm -hmm. and disease diagnose. Mm -hmm. Like you basically now, except you have those uh, cervical spine pain, yeah. and uh, basically you don't have um, really uh, symptom on your general well-being, but uh, we still can look at your tongue, feel your pulse, mm -hmm. to tell if you need some help or not. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. this is a tongue diagnosis and a pulse diagnosis is a Chinese diagnosis tool. Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah. Uh, uh, um, mm -hmm. When when are you going to start uh, with the yeah, acupuncture? Are we going to start that? Later, a little later. Later, I later, will. Later, yeah. later. Yeah. Okay, yeah, later good. I, I, I can't wait. I, I have to. Because yeah. I've never I, had it before. I want to see in here is uh, you know a lot of people think acupuncture is painless. You know I like to correct that. Yeah. Um, when the uh, when when the needle be insert to the, the to a to a patient body, uh, you may not feel it. Because when the um, provider are very skillful, when the needle penetrates in, you may not uh, feel or just a briefly pain. So uh, most patients really don't know the needle already go inside. <laughs> <laughs> but once the needle go inside, it will produce the uh, uh, heating effect that you must feel. We call that gain qi. You have to feel the energy. I always tell my patient, you have to feel every single needle I give to you. If you don't feel the energy, the energy most Did likely, <laughs> yes, you have to let me know. Otherwise, yeah. do oh. not pay me. You come here yeah. to getting better. Uh, if yes. the needle go inside your body and then you don't feel it, it is that work? Yeah. That <laughs> I doubt. Okay. Uh, maybe yes, because I yes. practice the Chinese <laughs> acupuncture. Yeah. Because acupuncture have many styles. They have a Korean acupuncture, Japanese acupuncture, Vietnamese acupuncture, uh, England acupuncture, American. You know. Yeah. So uh, and then 
Okay. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> okay. okay. So <laughs> I cannot, you know, judge other, p but for us, a uh, training like me, we prefer patient get the energy. What yes. is the energy feeling should like? Okay, once the needle start work, okay, the energy start work, the energy feeling should have a pulling sensation or pressure sensation. This is most commonly. And but some patients do, uh, uh, s you know, feel like a tingling sensation or numbness sensation or hot and cold are, you know, uh, on the needle side, or those sensation can travel along the channel. Channel means meridian. We have meridian system. Mm. Okay, the acupuncture is on the meridian. That's the Chinese discovered that. 2,000 years ago. Wow. And those ancient, our ancestors are very smart. We just uh, practice. <laughs> we do not uh, develop or, or you know, create anything. We just uh, follow. We very, very surprised. You know, long, uh, now the modern science can approve we have a 14 meridian. But at that time, people just uh, in no those mod, you know, modern science to approve, but they found out those 14 meridian in our body mm -hmm. and it exists. It's not a nervous system, it's not a blood vessel, but the function is flow is like those, you know, uh, those nerve and the blood, you know, but it's individually, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. separated from blood vessel and the nerve system. Does it activate the blood flow to the point where the, the it needs healing? Is that also what it is, acupuncture? Pardon? Does it activate the blood flow? Yes, have a, a basically problem. acupuncture is enhances the, uh, is balances the energy because when the energy is too weak or too rush, too quick, you know, mm -hmm. too strong or too weak, or the energy is blocked, all the energy doesn't flow in the proper pathway because we have a, a 14 meridian, right? And then 12 of them related to the internal organ and the uh, conceiving, uh, uh, Conceiving a meridian and then uh, governor meridian, you know, a total 14. So, uh, sorry, what, <laughs> what I'm talking about. So, so acupuncture actually enhances those, uh, uh, balances the energy. If it's too strong, we will withdraw. And if it's too weak, we will enhance. Yeah. If there's a blockage, we will open the blockage. If it doesn't move in the proper pathway, we will guide them back to the proper pathway. Y you know, that like a liver qi has to flow in the liver meridian. If liver qi is too strong, it can invade our stomach. That's why mm. we can have a stomach ache. Irritable syndrome particularly is like that, you know. So it's affected by the stress. The stress affect liver, so liver affect. So when is an imbalance in yeah. our body? That's so when once the energy flow, the blood will be flow. And, no, uh, and uh, once the blood flow, our body, you know, can take away the waste. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I mean the toxin. The toxin, from yes. The body. Yeah. Yeah. The toxin from the well, body. now yeah. when you put the needles in and everything else, does that does that hurt? And then my second question is, uh, where does all this heat come from? Does it come from the needles, or does it come from the spots? Uh, you know, uh, you know where you. No, you not necessarily feel the heat. I just say some patient the sensation most uh, most sensation people will feel is a pulling, like someone holds the needle. The acupuncture also can feel it. So when I do the acupuncture, I will never wear the glove because this is the energy come from me and also we can oh. feel the, how the patient respond to my energy so as an acupuncture I always have to say we have to be healthy like yeah. me I have to eat well sleep well and to exercise well and mm -hmm. we have to be healthy you know if we are not healthy we cannot give a patient the right energy that's why that's when you visit the acupuncturist point. when you visit the acupuncturist some people can can you know can you know can be very efficient, mm -hmm. and uh, and some acupuncturists, the patient will not see so many results. Yeah. So this is the 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 provider's health, con you know, condition is very we important. Getting towards mm -hmm. the end of our show, we only have three minutes left. Wow! So that's the three quick. minutes, or the final thing you have to say to our viewers, and you can talk and say what the best thing that has to be done, and whatever you wish and whatever your what you have in your mind besides all the, ex the lovely explanation you just give us which is so informative and we need that because we have to know what it is what acupuncture is about because it's for our own good it's for healing and everything please tell to our viewers what your opinion is about what you your your last which is for for us the people to understand uh, what you're doing yes i i just want um, um the people open mind mm -hmm. if you have chronic condition if you use um, a long you know many medication or uh, sick for a long time please open mind they may have a good method in the outside Chinese medicine 
is exist 5,000 years. It's experiment, experimental medicine. Experimental medicine means by 1,000 years practice to approve it work, and to approve it have a less side effect. So this medicine, when you try it, you may have a very surprised result. Mm -hmm. Nothing to lose, Nothing just to open mind. Gain. Yeah. Everything to gain. Yes. Yeah, that, that's really it. And, uh, and, uh, and uh, to keep our uh, health condition is life is a lifelong procedure. It's not like when I have a symptom, I come to the acupuncture, fix me, and uh, and then once it's fixed, I go away. I I still, you know, have you know, party, nightlife, drinking, smoking. You know, no, we have to, you know, do, uh, you, know, you know, all of the good things. Have a good habit, and also should uh, I th I will suggest that people should visit acupuncture you know regularly like once a month base mm -hmm. to remain because acupuncture and the Chinese herbal medicine uh, can be uh, preventative and is very talks. good yes. for us yeah. uh, can yeah. you explain the safety of the acupuncture uh, is, is it really yes, that acupuncture safe? Acupuncture is very safe since, since it's practiced for over 5,000 years. Okay. And uh, also, um, the, uh, the provider, uh, the acupuncture in the United States, use a pre sterilized and uh, single packaged and uh, disposable needle. One time yes. use. So, yes. to prevent the contraction of the AIDS or sure. hepatitis or any other infectious disease. So, it's very safe in this country. And uh, all, all, all of the acupuncturists will pass the test for cleaning the needle and, uh, you know, and uh, for, the, uh, for the proper, you know, f operation on the patient. Yeah, but if, uh, if a person wants to keep uh, their own needles, uh, do they sterilize them and they can, can no, they reuse them? No, it's Oh, they're it's disposable. disposable. Yeah, it's a medical, uh, the medical waste. There is a law for that. Yeah. No one can reuse a needle. Oh, I see. So they got to yeah. be thrown out. Yes, yeah. throughout. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And where are they thrown out? I mean, the company, medical waste company, will come to yeah. collect. Yeah. Just like a Western medicine uh, clinic or yeah. hospital. Yeah, because the there was thing. a lot of needles that came up uh, from the ocean at, at one time. People were dumping really? them in the ocean and they were coming up. Uh, wow. But I mean, they're fully disposed and uh, they're discarded safely. No, they shouldn't do it. They should, I think they will, they will, they will burn it. Acupuncture needle made by stainless steel. After they burn it, they can use that stainless steel to yeah. create some yeah, other yeah. things. It cannot dispose in the ocean. Yeah. I have yeah, never I think heard the metal about is that. Melted for something else, it's, uh, it's yes. used, but well, not, yeah. not not for us, not for mm -hmm. the people. No, absolutely not. That's wonderful, mm -hmm. very informative. I do not know if we had uh, the the picture we shown. Um, are we done? Are yes, we're, we're all done, doctor. Thank you for being here today. Yes, yes, Thank yes. you so much. <laughs> I'm glad to be here. To. Mm -hmm. So now we get ready for the second. The second show we have to show the pictures that I have. Okay. They have to. Uh, four pictures of you.